There are many cultural centers of pizza throughout the world, but you might find it surprising that one, billing itself as the pizza capital of the world, is tucked away in a little town called Old Forge, Pennsylvania. It takes hubris for a little town with a population of only 8,300 to call itself the pizza capital of the world. But pizzeria owners in Old Forge, Pennsylvania, tucked on the outskirts of Scranton, know exactly what they're doing. They've claimed their own pizza style, complete with a rare sense of community and camaraderie, and a firm belief that their pies are as good as anything you'll find a couple hours away in that other pizza hub, New York City. Ask Angelo Janelle, owner of the legendary Arcaro and Janelle, which pizzeria has some of the best pizza in town, and he'll give you a two-word answer. And those two words do not include Arcaro or Janelle. You can't find the bad pizza in town. Style similar. You can eat it anywhere, and it'll be every place. So it'll be a little different, but you won't be disappointed. But we really don't compete. It's not competitive no, in this it town. Isn't. It's it's. Yeah. You're friends with everyone. You're friends with everybody. Everybody's is different. Different cheeses, different sauce. No, there's no competition. As Pizza TV's Heather Cray learned, there's more to this little pizza village than meets the eye. Competition is practically a dirty word to the town's pizzioli. You know, pizzerias, obviously, we were talking about how there's camaraderie, and so... Right. But if these other pizzerias, if we sat down all the plates, like... Uh, who'd you say this was? Yep, that's um, Mark and Angela Janelle. Uh, myself, and that would be Baby Joe, and uh, he had Salerno's just uh, a few short blocks away. Mark and Angelo um, own across the street our Carolyn Janelle's. Many of them grew up together and often dine at each other's restaurants. I crave pizza, and it really depends whose pizza you crave. Um, I will go over Cosmano's one night for pizza. Um, I will go to Salerno's. I'll go to our Carolyn Janelle's. Uh, but they're just uniquely different, each one. All these business owners got together and said, let's, let's brand this thing. And they came up with the idea and they all got together and they said, we're the pizza capital of the world. They all chipped in a few bucks to, to get the branding going. Is that how it happened? That's exactly how it happened. The Old Forge pizza community is so close knit that the owners all banded together years ago to develop the pizza capital slogan, a flash of marketing brilliance that attracts foodies from around the country and the world to this former coal mining town in the Appalachians. Founded as a stagecoach inn in the 1800s, the little town of Old Forge has a rich pizza history, dating back to at least 1926, when the matriarch of the Gigerelli family, owners of a local tavern, reportedly started serving pizzas baked in rectangular metal pans to workers who would drop in to unwind and play cards after a hard day's work in the coal mines. As other entrepreneurs got into the act, they borrowed from Grandma Gigerelli's style but added their own signature twists. Although they're the same style, they're all so unique and I could probably blind taste test and tell you which one is which because you know some will, will get their crust from the, the local bakery, some will make them fresh, some uh, have a little more onion in their sauce, some is, is a chunkier sauce, and the cheese blend is really the secret that, they, that no one will let you know. I don't think you'll find a pizzeria Mozzarella owner. And, uh, mozzarella and American, right? They won't tell you that. Old Forge Pizza is often compared to the Sicilian style, but there are significant differences. A Sicilian crust has a larger bubble pattern, but it's more compressed and spongier in an Old Forge style pizza. We get our dough from Agostini's because it's the best. They have the best dough in town. Um, everyone loves our dough, so we're, we wouldn't change it. It's, it's perfect. I heard that you do a lot of the dough for pizzerias in town. Yes, we used to do uh more so years ago when we served everybody on Forge, but years past that people learned to make their own doughs and all, and that's all fine, that's all well and good, but there's a, the finer ones in all Forge I think use my dough. Every time that I have gone in for a slice this week, when I grab it, I think it's gonna be really heavy and then I'm gonna eat it and be really full, it's gonna be very dense, but it's so light. You know how they say like a Krispy Kreme donut, you can, you can just keep eating a whole box? 
Well, it's because it's so light, right? So there's so many air bubbles in there. And that, that's just the way the old forged pizza is made. It's light, it's crisp usually on the bottom. It's got good chew to it. And uh, you can just eat it all day. With a bread-like crust, chewy center, and crispy bottom, and a sauce that tends to be a little sweeter, a little chunkier, and a bit more robust than a New York-style sauce, the Old Forge character has inspired a devoted following for decades. In Old Forge, there's a couple different sauces that people say they like and don't like. So there's an oniony sauce that people talk about, and there's a sweeter sauce that people talk about. Ours kind of lays in the middle of that. But there is no one single Old Forge pizza. Which one do you like more, the white or red? I'd have to say red, depending on what's inside of the white, because sometimes, that, as they mentioned, that you put broccoli or spinach in it. Ooh, um, so I, I do love a white broccoli. A white Old Forge pizza might consist of a top and bottom layer of dough with big gooey globs of cheese and other fillings in the center. The red pizza is the age-old classic of delicious tomato sauce, spongy dough, and of course, cheese. The cheese is a great differentiator between pizza shops. We use more of a blended cheese. We use a, um, quite a bit of mozzarella, where other places don't use as much mozzarella. That's probably the little tweak that's different with us. Differences in their cheese blends make each restaurant's pie special. And that's the one thing they're competitive about. Asked about their preferred mix of cheeses, Old Forge pizza makers will hem and haw a bit before politely refusing to answer. We don't have a formula, we just, we've been doing it so long, it's, it's like making a pie, you just... We usually don't tell people our cheese, it's, that's our seat, like that's our secret. We do use, it's, it's a combination of a couple different ones. Right, so a lot of it's processed cheese. You'll see Coopers, you'll see Cheddars, you'll see um, American, you'll probably see uh, maybe a brick in there. But I'm only speculating because no one has ever told me what their cheese blend is. Um, now I've heard rumors here and there, but it's under lock and key, or actually I don't even think the recipe exists. It's probably in the owner's head. Old Forge even has its own pizza lexicon. As polite as the townsfolk are, they'll look at you a little funny if you order a slice. The right word is a cut, and a whole pie is called a tray. You have a lot of tradition mm -hmm. into the pizza, and people won't change their ways. And I'm sure you're like, you know, you, you went to Mary Lou, mm -hmm. you went to Pat, like they're just, like everybody does the same thing every day the same way. They might tweak it better, but they'll never take a shortcut. In some ways, the restaurants are slow to change. Some, like Arcaro and Janelle, have little or no social media presence. The girls take over on they that. They do that. We, our social media is we talk to one another. Yeah. Their That's, social media don't really is... In, we don't really have Facebook <laughs> or social media, though. If the pizza operators of this quaint postage stamp of U.S. soil have forged one thing, it's a pact, a bond based on the belief that even in free market America, there's still room for everyone. On the next Pizza Roots and Routes, Pizza TV and Brian Hernandez explore the flavors and pizzas that make the American Southwest unique.